Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I am a senior consultant in the field of neuroanesthesiology and today I would like to talk about why toppers take general medicine and I just counted last year's counseling uh, and seat matrix and how many people have taken general medicine. I was actually shocked to see in the first hundred around 40 to 45 percent of people have taken general medicine and then from there I started counting from 100 on it went on to a different level from 100 to 200 it is around 65 percent and from uh, 200 to 300 it is around another 65 percent the first 400 I counted and I uh, found around 230 to 240 people in general medicine category and what is the actual reason behind everyone choosing general medicine as their uh, speciality in the top top 500 what is the reason behind that see everyone knows that it is secondary to the uh, super specialty exposure that it has basically it's it is an intermediate step and after which you can do any kind of specialty like cardiology nephrology endocrinology rheumatology and you like so many are there so that is what people think and 58% uh, of the uh, you know general medicine doctors are getting into super speciality that is the main reason and the second very important reason is the intellectual stimulation it seems a study has been done by Indian Journal of Medical Research and they found that 84% of the internal medicine doctors uh, they actually take up that speciality for the intellectual stimulation that they get by solving the difficult cases and difficult diagnoses and solving the puzzles that they get in the process. So that is a very important thing. So they need challenge, toppers need challenges. So that is uh, the reason behind them taking the general medicine. And after that, the next very important thing is the holistic care and the patient interaction. So another uh, study which is published in Indian Journal of Family Medicine, they have shown that 72% of the general medicine practitioners have a very strong sense of fulfillment in their pay, uh, career because of the patient interactions. So when patients tell them that actually, you know, they're doing good after the medication, they get that accomplishment. That is another reason. Uh, maybe many people are opting to get into general medicine and the job security and financial considerations I would like to tell you. So a Niti Aayog report has uh, shown that there will be a 15% increase in the requirement of uh, general medicine people by 2030. So that is a very good news for you guys. And the pay scales if I have written you, a beginner will get around 1.5 lakh. But the thing is, that is not the game, right? After that, your OPD will increase, the number of patients will increase and that actually gets you into a a uh, very big league of uh, you know uh, salary and uh, if you are getting a constant 20 to 50 20 to 30 people per day in OPD then you can earn anywhere between you know uh, 4 to 5 lakhs per month and uh, that is a very good uh, amount that you can earn so that is about the finances with general medicine so even if you don't want to get into super specialty general medicine would be a very good option for future you can check out my previous video where I explain the generalist perspective and uh, how actually general medicine whether it will get saturated as a specialty or not, I explained. You can go check out in that particular video. Okay, it is there in my channel. I can put the link in the description also. If you come to this part of the video, I think you have to subscribe to the channel because you know many people are watching my videos but not subscribing. I request you guys to subscribe to the channel. Okay, okay, there's a button there. Please click on that. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you all. And the next video is about the critical care medicine after general medicine. So critical care medicine, ninety percent of people are anesthesiologists, but ten percent of people are general medicine people so for you what are the advantages and disadvantages and then how what are the other ways of becoming indian swiss is what i'm explaining in that particular video if you want all that information subscribe to the channel okay thank you very much guys